Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is not a car review today, so if you're normally here for car reviews, it's car related, but it's kind of different. Meet my good friend, Crossy. It's a hopeless cause. Like, I'm like Nobby, I love cars, but when you ask me what's underneath them, what's inside them, anything like that, I am a bit like, oh, it's nice to sit in and to look at, and I like the colors, but I look at your videos and I'm going, no, no, I don't know anything about those other things that you do. Now, chances are, if you're a petrol head or whatever, you like cars, that's why you're here. So what you're going to say now next will probably have people going, what? <laughs> I have, Please tell uh, everyone watching, what, why are we here today? So my car has been underground for about six or seven months and the tires are a bit low, you know, that needs more pressure in it. I went one day to get the tires pumped and your mum was like, oh, you need four brand new tires. And honestly, I don't think I did. I just think he saw me coming in like a gobshite. Coolant, haven't got a clue. I only found out that what that word was yesterday. Uh, the wipers, I would have a fair idea because it looks okay. But that's, I think, the only thing I know how to do is probably change the wipers. I've never changed a tire in my entire life. Uh, the car's been underground for seven months now, I think. And I started it today, and for some reason it still starts. And look at this, look. Wash. Me. P-L-S. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh God, look at, the, look at the cobwebs. I don't know how to put air into a tire and I've never done it before. By the way, the tires are full of cobwebs. <laughs> I've never seen cobwebs in a, on a tire before. Oil check, they're asking me, I was like, no, I'm, I'm diesel. And they said, the oil's in the engine. I I'm diesel, like, <laughs> I don't need oil. I remember my dad years ago used to get like a tissue and pop it, you know, and he'd be dabbing it. Yeah, that's and it, yeah. The tissue, all right, well, okay, okay. I know. Well, let's go and see if Crossy can find out where the dipstick is, first of all. This is going to be fun. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet. Oh. Right, I think I've, I think I've done this before. He's having, yeah. He's having a good <laughs> rummage around. Okay, you got there. Right. Oh my God. Look at the absolute filth of that engine bay. It's not supposed to be like dirty. You know, like it's an engine, like you, no one's gonna be looking at it. Like I understand on top of here because people look at it. Well, just general car maintenance. How long will it take Crossy to find the dipstick? So the dipstick will give you an indication of how much oil is in your engine. Is it this thing here? Um, that is oil related, but that's the cap. That's where you... It? Yeah, is it hot? It's a bit, well, it might be, well, you haven't driven that far, have you? No. Um, that's for the window wipers. That's for the windscreen fluid. What is that? That's the same, isn't it? As, yeah, that's the same. As the it gives you water to spray in your yeah, windscreen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah, yeah. actually directly affect the wipers. Okay. Um, and Crossy find the dipstick. Don't even know what that. I don't even know what that is. That it? Oh, hang on. Can I pull it? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. he's <laughs> found the dipstick. I think that only took about a minute. <laughs> yeah. So now, now you're wondering. Think back to what did your dad have? He had a cloth and went like that. Okay. Now you see those tissues over there, Crossy? Beside the fuel pumps. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they're for. So go on over there and get yourself some tissue. You, you can leave that like where that. it is. I didn't know how much to bring, and I didn't know whether it was going to burn my hand. Right. Well, pull it out just for a good measure here. Okay. Wipe it. No, do any with it. Just wipe it. Yeah, just pull it out. No, down, down, down the other end. Oh, we're here. Yes. Okay, just make sure. So that, that all looks clean and dry, right? Now what you do is put it back in to that tubey area. Now the car isn't warmed up, so your oil mightn't be at a proper level. So you should never really check your oil when it's this cold. Push it out again? Yeah. Now. Is that low? Don't know if people can see. It's just there, is it? Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Great. So that's those two little nibs, somewhere between there halfway would be like you've half the oil you need and obviously down near the bottom. And if you pull it out and it's totally dry, that's not good. See, if you had told me I would have been up here, <laughs> unless it's up here, it's screwed. Okay, right. And what does that do? That lubricates the engine, Crossy. That means the parts don't all seize. Okay. Do you feel any more 
manly now that you can... <laughs> well, I know how to take this rod out of the engine and I know that that's to lubricate the engine. You may now close the bonnet. Right. This should be good. I thought you were going to be really, really gentle with it. No. At this stage now, this poor yoke. I don't think there's anything to be too ashamed of in, in this situation here, but the next bit... It's bad. Our final crossy car challenge today is to put air in the tyres. So you don't know when you last put air in these tyres, I presume? I, I haven't. I got the car about a year and a half ago and they did it. I don't think I've ever done it. See, my biggest problem is that I don't know. I know there's little things here that tells you, you know, how much air is in it. But I don't know how much air this car is. Like, is this car the same as that car? The same as that van over there? Everyone else let me know in the comments. Do you, 33, 34, 35? Are you a 36 kind of guy? I think I'd go with, it's been a while. So maybe 36. And the next question is, how does that machine know what's already in that? Because it has a gauge thing, me Bob. Okay. Right, I'll stick to two euro. Unfortunately, this is one of the machines where you have to pay for air. I cannot believe it's a pay for air. Now, the first thing you need to do is, you have to tell that computer what air you'd like. So there's different types of air? No, there's not different types of air, Cosy. Don't, I don't understand. It's like, what, what do you yeah, mean? It's PSI. What does that mean? There we go. Okay, so make that Make that 36. Knock it down a notch. <laughs> we don't have any explosions. Jesus. So you've told the computer that you want that level of air. Okay. okay. One small step for man. This is like a first. You have the cap. Oh, I thought the air comes out when you do it. <laughs> okay. No, it shouldn't do. Okay. Push that on. Yeah. There you go. Now hold it really tight so there's no air. You can hear air escaping. You know what? That's not good. It's 15 up there now. Is that bad? 15 is not good, Chris. Oh, God. Now it's gone to 14. Now it's gone to 15. Have you got it on tight enough? So was, uh, how am I supposed to do that? Like, use a bit of strength, like. <laughs> yeah. Now it's gone back to 15. Okay, hold it there. Am <laughs> I doing it wrong? See, this is my problem. Like, I'm afraid now this is going to explode. Okay, it's not meant to do that. Okay. Try it again. With a flat tire. Typical, this is why I don't know things like this because I haven't got a clue. You're doing a YouTube or something. Would you believe this man doesn't know how to put air in a tire? <laughs> <laughs> and yes, it is going on YouTube. <laughs> Am I supposed to screw it in? Sorry? Am I supposed to screw it in? Oh, for God's sake. I try. Oh, hang on. I hadn't got the nozzle on of the correct <laughs> I don't think so. Now it's going down to 12. <laughs> Am I supposed to press air here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I didn't press that button! I've already pressed back here when it's like it took the air out. <laughs> I didn't press the button! <laughs> okay, we here. There we go! <laughs> now, Crossy, I may have deliberately let that happen oh. to you because I want everyone else watching who do I'm sure there's other people who don't know how to do this so, so they need to understand so here we go we're set oh we're about to have lift off okay now it's flashing the concentration on his face <laughs> my hand is shaking Okay, now we're at 15. Is that really bad that it was then at 12, 13? Well, it would put more wear in your tires. It uses more fuel. Bad for the environment. And compromise the handling of the car as well. You not feel everything was a bit spongy? Yeah, it, you know what, I found it when you were driving off in front of me, I felt like I had to give an extra bit of welly. How does that feel? Um, a lot better. I feel very stupid that I didn't know that the, you had to press the button to start it. I just thought you paid it, you stuck it in, and that was it. Will I try one more time? See, this is the part that I'm always terrified. When I was a kid, a truck drove past us, and one day the um, tire blew and scared the life out of me. So I'm always afraid of that. Okay, it's 36 now. Hey. 
puts a lot of work in this. Feels stupid, like your man was looking at me going, now you didn't press the button. <laughs> and he used me two euro as well. He knew what he was at, you know that? Right, let's try the second tire. I feel confident now. Okay, Crossy's going again here. He's getting his two euros worth. I can't even, oh. Will this then beep then if he's, I? He's doing the awkward, the cable won't, you know that cable stretches, yeah? Just pull it a bit more. There you go. <laughs> I don't know what it is though over here. Do you know what? It is? is that it done? That's it. Brilliant. The Golf now has air in all four tires. We've checked the oil level. It does need a wash, but I presume you don't need help with that here. No, I'll be okay with that. There's a machine over there that does that. <laughs> Look at my hands. Now you've learned a bit more about maintenance of your motor. How do you feel? A bit better, a bit better. I think the next time should we should be changing a tire of a car. But I don't know, I don't even know if there's spoke things for me to take it. Oh, there is those jokes. Lock nuts. Lock nuts. Spoke things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for anyone else who's suffering in silence like this, it's actually more simple than you think it would be. First of all, you need the button to turn the thing on. It's not going to explode. That was my first thing. I thought the tires were going to explode because you had to kind of guess how much air you put into it. Air, air, yeah. Uh, but no, it's grand, it is. It's a bit of work to do now. Like, I'm a bit panty now, but. Uh, a bit panty after four tires. Yeah. Maybe we will do that changing a wheel uh, video, but I probably need to do a bit more practice with him for that because. Yeah, absolutely. I think I'll just, I'll just drive them. I think that's the best thing. Oh, it's a lovely color. Remember, don't suffer in silence. Share this video with those of your mates who also don't know how to put air in their tires. And uh, thanks for watching. See you, Crossy. Bye. Thank you.